Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I've got a new MC Edit filter for you guys today. Now what I've got here is kind of a gladiator arena, and it is circular. The way I built this is I used my new MC Edit filter, and what I did is I, I built this little slice by hand, and then I rotated it around a circle to make the whole thing. So you'll notice you have the sand here, the stone underneath, uh, the sort of steps up in the wall, so you can see that stone underneath, Here's that wall. It's the exact same thing. That that slice over there is the cross section of this arena. And it just was rotated all the way around to make a full circle. It's very handy for building circular objects. So let me hop into MC Edit and show you how it's done. All right, here we are in MC Edit, and we can see the full arena here and the little slice that we built. So let me just go step by step show you how to do this. Obviously, you have to build this little slice by hand. I'm going to go ahead and just take this, I'm going to clone it and just put it somewhere else so that it's nowhere near any of other, uh, any, uh, other objects in my world. Because when I actually run this filter, you can't use Control z to undo the operation. And the reason for that is that uh, when, I'm, when I make the selection, I'm only going to select the slice basically, but it's going to create stuff outside of that. So when MC Edit does operates uh, sorry executes a filter what it does is it backs up the area that you have selected but it doesn't back up anything outside of that area all right so we can see this is a 26 by 1 by 14 selection right now I actually need to make it about twice as big so it's 26 wide uh, I'm gonna double that and subtract 1 and that's just what you have to do so it's 26 times 2 is 52 minus 1 is 51 that's what you have to do when you want to take a slice and have the, have the center be kind of, the center is rotated around itself and it stays still, but everything else is rotated around that. So basically it just picks, picks the center point of your selection and rotates the entire thing around that. So now that I've selected this entire region, I'm going to go over to filters. I, I'm using this create rotated solid filter. And yeah, you want to be really careful because again, like I said, you can't undo this. So you might back up your world or just make sure that you're in an area with a lot of extra room so you're not going to overwrite anything else. Just hit filter um, and now it's only going to update the chunks that are actually kind of active so you have to either hit save or yeah pretty much just hit save in order to actually see the whole thing but now we can see the entire arena right here it's an exact duplicate of the other one uh, it's got those fences, it's got the walls, uh, there's stone underneath very cool. Very, very useful for any time you need something circular. Um, now you can do some other neat stuff with this. So I'm going to just drop a block right here. I'm going to put in a, oh, I don't know. Let's say, let's just put in a diamond block. Okay, I'm going to put that right in there. I'm going to make a circle out of this by just rotating it around. Let me make sure it's an odd number. 15. Okay, so this will rotate the diamonds around a circle like this when I hit the filter. Yep, so we get, I'll hit save to get the whole thing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make, oh, you know what, I should make this out of uh, glass. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill and replace. Uh, I'm going to fill and replace this with glass. And um, I'm going to make a little dome out of this. So all I need to do is select a quarter circle. Let's see. Let's make sure I do this right. Something like that. Yep. So I'm going to clone this. I'm going to roll it so that it is upright. I'm going to bring it way over here um, so that it's kind of out of the way. All right, so there, there we go. We've got this uh, this dome thing, or this quarter of a, a dome, I guess, or it's half of a cross section. Anyway, <laughs> clone this. Um, so it's this thing is eight wide. So I'm going to 16 minus one is 15. So it's, remember it's. Uh, if you want to rotate it around that center point, multiply the width by 2 and subtract 1. Filter, create rotated solid, save, and we've got a dome. So, I mean, this is kind of a small dome, um, and, and you could just take the top section of this, but it's actually a pretty easy way to make a, an entire dome, and I, I didn't even have to build the cross section by hand, I just did it all in MC Edit. So, Pretty neat. I think this filter is probably really useful for map makers that are doing certain things. And you'll just have to figure out for yourself if it's useful for you. But I think it's pretty neat. That's about it. Thanks for watching.